All right, all right, Scorpio, happy birthday, baby. What is going on, pudding? It's is Mira, it's is Shira, it's is Vera, and it's Scorpio Red Tarot. I am back at it one more time for the one more time to let y'all know what the energies is surrounding you for the month of November 2020. Show me the money mixed in with a little bit of wonderful festive Thanksgiving energy in the name of Jesus. All right, as you can see, I'm chill like Bill today i'm very relaxed i'm in my big t-shirt and my panties on t-shirt and my panties on it's like now y'all wish i was sitting here in my t-shirt and my panties <laughs> bitch you tried it anyway so i'm sorry so listen i'm in here on my chill shit you guys we in here we want to find out what the energy is for y'all for the birthday uh, for the birthday pop it if it's a birthday so listen if there's anyone who would like to book a reading with me. First off, thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you who clicked this video. If you would like to support the page in any type of way, shape, form, or fashion, click the description for this video or check the about tab on my YouTube page. If you want to book a personal private reading, I do video readings only on Instagram Messenger. If you do not have Instagram Messenger, we normally utilize Google Hangouts. It's a free, easy app to download. The only thing that we need to exchange amongst each other to connect for your reading is our email address. My email is scorpionres at gmail.com. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email. If you're on Instagram, shoot me a DM and let's get it popping. You understand what I'm saying? If these videos resonate, and you want to send support over here. If you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the page. If these messages give you clarity. And you just want to send some love. Or if you want to donate a deck. You can check out my Amazon wish list. And all payments are um, or donations are accepted through Cash App and PayPal. And all of that information is all over in the About tab. And in the description of this video. Okay. We are reloaded. So. Let's get into the energy. You guys know we always want to give Father God praise and thanks. So, Father God, thank you so much for blessing us with another wonderful, wonderful year, Father God. This is 2020. We already see you ain't come to play in 2020. <laughs> Father God, you ain't come to play. Listen, you were setting up the playing field for, the, for this decade. I see. I see. Okay, so listen. Father God, um, one thing I know that we have been for sure is determined for greatness. We will not fail. We will not trip. We will not fall. We will not stumble. Oh, no. And honey, we will not crumble. They better stop playing. Boom. With the Scorpio baby. Okay. We are reloaded. Father God, we are just so thankful for just your ever given presence in our life father god um you have shown us strength like no other that was in us that we didn't even know exist father god we are celebrating in this year even things that we had to do without we understand it and it made room for so much more father god you are miraculous you are gifting you are giving you are loving, you are nurturing, you are all ever abundant, Father God. And we thank you for continuously blessing us with another year, more blessings, and more tests of strength. We get stronger every day, and you never make it easy on us. Sometimes we wonder why, but we learn not to question you. Because when it's compared to us and other people, <laughs> we laugh at certain things that people cry at, you know? Because you built us for it tough. And you built us to withstand the storm. We are the storm. And we wouldn't want to be anything else. Amen. Amen, Carl. Come on. So, Father God, give us guidance today and every day. In Jesus' name, we pray. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for being the wonderful creator that you are. Amen. Amen. All right. Shalala. Can you say shalala when we say shalala? -la -la -la? Shala. Okay, girl. Let's get into this here. All right. So, I'm playing with my What Do You Mean decks today. You know, they wanted to come out and play, you guys. So, we want to see what God got for us in November. It's going to be a month to remember. You already know. Ooh, 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 come on. Bring it together. C -c 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 come on. All right. So, listen. 
I'm about to give me like two more shuffles. I'm going to take one off the scissor. I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you. Uh, what did I see in the pre-shuffle, you guys? Like, I'm trying to remember what I seen in the pre-shuffle, but I don't think it was meant for me to remember what I seen in the pre-shuffle. We're just going to get into this. I just seen a ton of air with the scythe on that jump. So I see that you cutting through all the, all the bullshit for real, for real. You letting shit lie. What is this? Oh, is this a marijuana? Come on! Come on! More fire! <gasps> Pass the Dutch upon the left hand side. What is this saying? This is the justice card. <gasps> Pass the Dutch upon the left. Come on now. Pass it upon the left. Pass it to me. Pass it to me, Tony. Pass it to me, Tony. Okay. Go! For the birthday, listen, go ahead and give us a little justice, okay? Give us a little justice, a little common justice, a little balance, okay? All right, all right, I like that. I like forgiveness, I like being on the right side of favor, okay? Bitch, I am reloaded. Come on, listen, don't make me go like my motherfucking Jay, okay? Sheets and bundle. I need and want you. Shout out to Pinky Killer Corn. <laughs> DC or nothing, baby. Sheets and fun too. Hey, I need and want you. <laughs> Shout out to Pinky Killer Corn. If y'all know who my baby Pinky Killer Corn is, please get to know her. Please get to show her some love. One of DC's own. Yes, indeed. Miss Pinky Killer Corn, honey. Yes, ma'am. Y'all check her out on Instagram. Let's see. We're going to put her right there. I love that justice card. Come on. Like they was breaking up something on the side to roll something up. I know some of y'all rolling something up right now. Go ahead. Take a puff for me, please. Shit, take a puff for me. Shit. God damn. I just feel like. You guys are just very relaxed. This just says in Congress. Ooh. So justice prevails. I feel like right now, um, I want to say you guys could possibly be getting government jobs or um, some type of government. I don't want to say government assistance. I don't think y'all need government assistance or something like that. Y'all might have applied for some type of government assistance and got approved. Um, I want to say like some type of government handout or something like that that kind of like helps balance your checkbook or something. I want to say you guys could have possibly been um, stressing about some type of legal shit. Um, oh, I didn't. The Ace of Cups. Y'all got the Ace of Cups. I like that. Could be some forgiveness and love. And that ain't what I'm getting. I'm totally getting this has something to do with foundation and some type of structure of some sort around your household. Um I wanna say like you guys got approved for a grant or um it's like something to um God, what am I trying to say? I want to say it's like something to relieve you of some type of financial stress or obligation. Or it's like a financial payout or something finally coming in your favor. That's all I know. It's like something has been forgiven. It's like um, like a debt has been forgiven. or um, It's like you've been released of the situation. Like there's no financial obligation. They just said someone got away with this by the skin of their teeth or something. It's like you might. OK, so this is what I'm getting. It's like you. I'm not necessarily seeing a payout. 
I'm not seeing a payout here. I got to see what else is coming out in the cards. I do want to say it's something that you're definitely emotionally fulfilled, you know, and it's like it paints a, like you understand the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? For why you had to go through that experience and have to have that level of judgment on your life like that. You did receive justice in the situation. I want to say that there could have been someone that um, may be released of uh for like drug trafficking it may be like a petty marijuana charge or something like that and like maybe some type of laws or something that are being passed in congress like you're going to be forgiving of that and it's like instead of it being something that could have been serious it just got whittled down to like a personal possession charge and you were able to like walk away like, not even really have nothing on your record, for real, for real. And it's like you're emotionally fulfilled. You understand the big picture. Maybe you might not take a risk like that um, with your freedom again or being judged like that. I don't think that you want um, a t some type of judgment, like a negative judgment on your record. I don't think it's going to be on your record. I want to say that. You were relieved and like, thank God you only got caught with weed or something like that. Because if it was something else, which it could have very much so been something else. I want to say you got away with the skin of your teeth. Because some of y'all might have had something else in there too. But they only found the marijuana. And that's why you understand the bigger picture. Like, bitch, I could be in jail, jail right now. Okay, you understand? Bitch, jail, jail right now. Okay, so let's see what the hell is going on here. Ooh. Hmm. I ain't even never even seen this car before. Why is she just leaning up against the wall like like? Y'all, why I want to say this girl eavesdropping on somebody? Like, is she listening to what's going on on the other side of this wall here? She got a wedding ring on. That look like a wedding ring. Yeah, they said matching stones. What are y'all doing? It's like y'all, I feel like someone is eavesdropping or listening to a conversation. And then why am I whispering? <laughs> Who am I whispering to? Why am I whispering? I want to say it's like someone is like listening in to try to find out the truth. Someone is listening. Oh, what is this? I want to be a queen. This was in the reverse, though. This says stating your sovereignty, de declaring freedom, passing a test. And again, they just said listening in very closely. Okay. I get that there's someone that is like eavesdropping on a conversation that's being had on the other side of this wall or something. I want to say it's like someone wants to be in a place of hierarchy. How, am I saying that right? Hierarchy. Like wants to be a leader, wants to be the one that's well known, wants to be the one that people follow after. They want to be queen. They see that as justice. If someone ain't listening on the other side, trying to figure out this person's angle. I want to say someone is a little power hungry and wants justice in a situation. I want to be queen. State in your sovereignty, declaring freedom, passing the test. I was in the reverse, though. I really don't like to take them in the reverse, but these cards very much so have reverse meanings. Let me, let me pull this book out. I'm pretty sure this shit has a reverse meaning. Most definitely does. It says, the divination reading, it says, raising your status. You were taking charge of your life, making 
decisions for your own self and setting rules and boundaries that work for you. Declaring your independence, becoming a powerful and influential source. Wanting to embrace your potential in the reverse. This means fear of your power. It being preferred for being told what to do rather than deciding what's best for you. Like giving to another's will, seeking power as a corrupting influence, shrinking away from potential, feel of failure, over compromising. Mm. Is that what she's doing? Is she's like shrinking low and she's like laying against the wall like, ugh. It's like, I want to be queen, but I don't know how to do it. Like, mm, mm. I'm still going with my first notion. I feel, let me see what else comes out in these cards, y'all. Now I'm getting, I am feeling like this woman is feeling sad. This person wants justice. Person might be smoking a lot, just trying to relax and um, hoping that the law or, you know what I'm saying, like God or just like universal karma kind of straightens things out. I feel like this person could kind of be feeling low right now because they want to assert themselves in this level of power but don't know how to do it it's like maybe this person should be being a boss but instead of really trying to do what they need to do to become an entrepreneur and get their business off of the ground and be their own boss like they feel it's best for them to cower down and work up under somebody else because it's more safe. It's like they know that they have a nine to five job and the, the comfortability of a paycheck every week. But it's like you are your own boss. You you know that that's inside of you. So, you know what I'm saying? Like you may not fit in that type of atmosphere. Um, but you keep putting yourself in it for some reason. And I, I feel like you... I feel like you should be something bigger than what you are and maybe you're sitting there and you're hearing someone on the other side of this wall declaring herself as they want to be queen. But it's like that's who you are. That's what your position is like. So but see, I don't mm. I don't really feel like this is a jealousy type of thing. Um, this, I really do feel like this is someone right on the other side of the door declaring their, their self in this place and their sovereignty in this position. But you know it should really go to you, but you're not fighting for it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you just wish justice would be on your side. And it is. But you got to stand up, though. I, you got to stand up. And I think that that's why you're just sitting down there thinking about. You're thinking about this. Let me see. You jack, got the jack of spades. Some type of law enforcement, though. This is a law enforcement in the ace of hearts in the reverse. It was careless of him to put on another man's helmet on with the man's head in it. Did y'all hear what this said? It was careless of him to put another man's helmet on with the man in it too. So this is like, this is like, okay, so like the jack of, the jack of spades is like, to me, that's like law enforcement. To me, that's like. Again, I'm saying that. 
someone try to put your position on why you were still in a role for some reason. And it's like you kind of fell out of love with the position because it's like that was your position. That was your role. That was your job. And they let someone else come around and like put your skin on almost. And it's like this motherfucker walking around like they me. They talking like me. They acting like me. They they saying that they're the queen, but I've been the queen. You know what I'm saying? It's like, fuck is going on? And I feel like you're not even standing up for yourself, fighting for yourself, because it's like you know that justice will prevail. Um, but at the same time, I feel like the law doesn't want you to fight. I feel like the law, I feel like God don't want you to fight. It's like, let me handle it. Because you see how the Jack of Spades came and was like, it was careless of him to put another man's helmet on with the man in it too. So they're coming to get whoever this was that did some type of injustice. Like, how the fuck you going to take someone else's hat and put it how you going that's just like you coming and take the hat right off a nigga head and try to say it's yours like you ain't just try to but I'm seeing it a little more vicious than that the way I'm getting this is like in order to get someone's position someone literally came and cut someone's head off you know what I'm saying and, and put the crown on with the blood still dripping off the the, you know what I'm saying like some shit like that and this says oh I've had such a curious dream so I don't know if like you guys been having like night visions day flashes like you, you ever had visual flashes like this woman is having like daydreams like you know what I'm saying it's like I feel like her energy is I don't know why I'm feeling like people just been having the overwhelming desire to sleep a lot. To sleep a lot. Like if you've been smoking and sleeping. Smoking and sleeping. You know what I'm saying? It's like you've been trying to medicate yourself to feel numb a little bit because I don't think you really like the way that you're feeling inside. It's like someone has been playing in a position that I own but I can't see it but I can feel it. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Someone is playing in the position that I own. I can't see it, but I fucking can feel that shit. It's like if you lean your head to the wall, you can almost hear the motherfucker on the other side claiming your position, claiming your role. Listen, it was careless of him to put another man's helmet on with the man in it too. Like you were still in it. You were still in it. You were still in it. And I want to say, even though you can't see it, you can feel it. And for some reason, you just been feeling tired. You've been feeling drained. You've been having crazy ass dreams that may be showing you someone flaunting, saying that they're the queen. Like you just feel powerless a little bit. Like, even though you are the queen, like you may not even be wanting to get up and do the role and the duties of the queen because you feel like, I don't know. I want to say y'all have been going through some like, y'all know how Scorpios, how we could just wake up one day and just be sad for no reason and we don't even know why the fuck we're sad. Sometimes I feel like that, um... If it was any other day when we'd be like, oh, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? Just being our normal bouncy self. I feel like we could have walked into something if we were our normal bouncy self. Versus us being like, I don't feel like it today. I feel like sometimes that I don't feel like it today, that energy be protecting us sometimes. Because God be seeing shit that we don't see. Does that make any sense? So that, I don't want to come outside today. I don't really feel like being around people. I don't really da 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 da, -da. I be feeling like that be your unknowing protection. 
It's like your spirit just wasn't in it. You ain't want to be queen that day. Um, You ain't want to be queen that day, y'all. You've been having these fucking dreams and shit. The Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles is like you being given a gift, you receiving charity. Um, yeah, but I what did I say something about? It's like you you getting a gift, you receiving charity, um, you getting a payout or a settlement, justice, like. Um, there being some type of karmic justice and balance. It's like, you get your split, you get your split. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to say some type of recognition. It's like a, a written... It's like someone has to give you their equal, your equal share, your equal half. Um, if there was some type of contract or something, it's like, they have to write it in the contract that you are the queen and like you know I want to say you receiving your equal share of the part your equal share of the pie now I'm hearing scratching and surviving good time eating in the jolly good times hey we lucky we got them good time <laughs> I don't know I feel like I'm feeling like giving to impoverished people. Do you see how this? You see how these people don't got nothing on their plate in the in the March Hare. It's like giving each one an equal an equal share of a cookie or something like that. So it's like you get equally what you were supposed to, to to put you in the position. Like this is rightly this is rightfully her title. So I'm going to give it to her because that's justice by law. You can't tell her that she's not queen. You can't give her title to someone else. You can't be like, I don't, what the fuck? The Joker. So this is Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat. Oh, ye who has little faith. Um. Typically to me, this is like the good Joker. This is like the because the other Joker in this deck is like the fucking um, Cheshire Cat, and I really don't like the Cheshire Cat. I feel like the Cheshire Cat is like the devil. You know what I'm saying? And in this deck, this is like Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat. You know what I'm saying? It, like it don't make any sense. It's supposed to say Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. How I wonder where you are up above the world so high, brightly shining in the sky, right? Mm. So, with this saying, Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat, what they just told me is like the reason why the Joker said that is because the ground is, I mean, the bat is in the sky, but it's still on the ground. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, oh, I wonder where you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the, st in the sky you see it but you can't touch it you know what I'm saying like a bat is something that you see it in the sky but it's on the ground you know what I'm saying it's not so it's not in the atmosphere it's part of the earth do you understand but it's still flying you know what I'm saying it's, 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 it's in the air so the joker card which is the full card which means faith it means movement so when I seen that and that was in the reverse and it said, oh, ye who has little faith. I wanted to say it's like, why were you ever worrying like that? You wouldn't soar, that you wouldn't reach the sky, that you wouldn't get to the element where you need to be. It's like, you might not be a star or a diamond in the sky, but you're still in the sky. And now I'm in doubt. Excuse me as I kiss the sky. I don't know why I'm just feeling like high as shit. Like it's just like. 
Not saying that you guys are like high, like all the, I mean, that all of y'all the weed smokers and, and things like that. But I want to say, no one can take your elevation. No one can stop your growth. No one can. It's like a bat was meant to fly, was meant to be in the air. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, ye who has little faith, like regardless of what other people think that they can do to you. Only you will be the stupid motherfucker to think that you a bat and you can't fly. You understand what I'm saying? You might not be a diamond in the star, but you still fly and you still high as a motherfucker. You hide in the rest. You see what I'm saying? So, oh, ye who has little faith. It's like, always trust the, the justice system. Like, that's kind of what they're telling me right now. It's like, always trust the, the justice system. Always trust. Trust that God got you and that God sees all, God protects all, and all will be fair and balanced and just. You know what I'm saying? You can't let nobody take you out your element. You always got to be in the air and take flight. That's what you're supposed to do. You understand what I'm saying? You can't be a diamond because that's out in the universe somewhere. But what you are, you understand, is a creature that could take flight and go anywhere that it wants to go. Do you understand what I'm saying? So always trust that God got you. Trust the justice system. Like that's what I'm getting. It's like you're going to get your fair share. You're going to get your payout. Continue to have faith. God seen this motherfucker put your helmet on someone else's head. While you still have ownership of it. And it's like, I want to say, I, I, I feel like you love this position. You love this place. You love this home. Like this ace of, the ace of, the ace of hearts could be like a relationship, a home, um, company, um, family, a friendship. You know what I'm saying? Anything that is like matters of the heart, matters of the home. Do you understand? Someone was very careless, and I don't feel like they understood that you were going to have these visions, these dreams, and things like that. Gosh. Hmm. The Two of Cups. See, the Two of Cups in the reverse. Like, so, it's like, I want to say that two, two people went off without you a little bit. These two niggas, too. Like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I want to say, like, this, this, like, I don't know if y'all know, like, it could have been somebody that y'all been dealing with, like, might be on a download, might be gay. It's like two dudes or something, and you ain't know about that shit. Why the fuck am I getting this, y'all? Yeah? Because I'm trying to tell you, it's like. It was careless of him to put another man's helmet on with the man in it, too. Y'all, I'm sorry. I, I know this weird as fuck. It only take what resonates. I'm serious. I'm feeling like there was karmic justice in this situation. Because I want to say you were in love with someone that might have been in love with their self. It's like, you were the queen, but they wanted to be the queen. Or, God, why am I saying I feel like I'm being so fucking messy right now? I feel like I'm being so messy. I'm being so messy. But I, I'm sorry. Like, what's... <sighs> it's like, you could have never been the queen because I want to say, like, this person... Is secretly bisexual or something like this person is like is the queen you know what I'm saying um yeah it's like look at the March hair look at this shit this shit didn't work out in love between you and whoever this is because these two men are together and you may have been on the side waiting for the March hair to break you down but he was he was trying to share himself equally amongst you and like someone else like i'm sorry i really do feel like this is like some 
But you got a true love offer. Oh. Niggas open like 7 Eleven. Oh my God. Why? Yo, it's like all the cards is on the table now, my nigga. What is the death card in the reverse, baby? Oh, y'all got the death card in the reverse. What is this? The marigolds. Oh, and then you know, yeah, this is this is <laughs> Santa Morte, the day of the dead. Come on, y'all, listen, listen to me, Tonita. Are you hearing me? Yo, isn't this right around Santa Morte too? Oh, the day of the dead. Listen, listen. I'm getting here with these marigolds and all of that stuff. That is definitely the sign of the Scorpio. I want to say you have been released from a situation, from some type of karmic debt. You've received the justice in the situation. I don't feel like it was meant for you to be queen. I I I I feel like you feel bad. Um and I want to say you most definitely been smoking a lot, just trying to like not think about things and to like transform past this. Um, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Like after you kind of get over, it's not no after you kind of get over this. Like you just got to get over this situation. It wasn't meant for you to be the queen in this situation. And I really want to say that you put yourself out there and you put your balance, you put your equal share into the things. I want to say you didn't do anything wrong. You legitimately did everything you were supposed to do. This person is on a down low. Like this person is living a double life. And I'm not about to kick it to you no other way because that's exactly how the fuck I see it. Like this person is in the same sex affair with someone else that you don't fucking know about. And this person was given to you and was given to that person too. You know what I'm saying? But really, I don't even really think that this person was giving too much to y'all. I think that this person was looking for y'all to give to them. Because he, this person ain't giving nobody nothing. Like this person is trying to think about who they want to give this little biscuit to. You know what I'm saying? Um, all of that stuff, like, on that table, I want to say that that, that could have been gifts that y'all might have given to that person. And y'all are just waiting to receive a little bit back in return. And this person is sitting there like, uh, let me figure out, well, which one do I want to give something to first? Shit, y'all done gave me all of this shit. Y'all want me to finally give you something back, but I don't know which one I want to give something to. And I... I... Mm -mm. Enforcement is coming. Like, there is karmic justice coming. Like, regardless of what. Like, there's going to be balance. I definitely feel like you were released from this situation. So you could really get a solid offer of true love. Like, why would you want to be someone's beard? I don't even think that you even really knew this shit. I feel like you just knew that the energy was off. And I'm supposed to be in this position. But why do I feel like... Why do I feel like there's someone else? You know, was someone else? It just wasn't a fucking girl. The hell? You got the Queen of Swords in a reverse. So you may have, like, just like abruptly cut yourself out of the situation because I want to say things just didn't feel right. And the shit was triggering you in a negative way. You were just feeling low. You just weren't feeling yourself. Like, if I'm in this position, why don't I feel like I'm in this position? Like, I f mm. the Queen of Swords in the reverse um, is someone that is a little upset, that doesn't have all the information that they need. It's like, <laughs> the 
God, why do I feel like I can't talk? Why do I feel like I can't talk? I feel like you just don't have all of the information that you need and you don't have the clarity. I want to say that you were confused because I want to say like you were offering this cup, but it's just like this person wasn't giving you one back of equal size and it just didn't make sense to you. And this is something I want to say that you may need it to end and to transform and to come out of this, a new person changed. You know what I'm saying? With lessons in tow. Because I want to say you escaped it, but it's just... I want to say you just feel like, why did this have to happen to me? Almost like, why did I have to go through this? Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. I just, I just feel like you don't understand. Like, why would you want to be with me? And I just don't understand. Like, I, like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, I don't understand. I don't know if this person just. Ah. Listen, the prettiest is always the furthest. Like, you're getting away from this situation. You definitely, you might have cussed this person the fuck out. You cut this person out and you moved away. It's like, I'm so much better than this. Like, you're not even... It's not that the person wasn't offering you shit. You're not offering me what I, equal sizes to what I was giving you. Because you... Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Y'all, I don't like... <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm about to get the dream away, Tyro, because I just can't end it like this. Y'all, I gotta get a separate message because this shit was wild as fuck, Mo. I can't, and that was. Oh, that was too much for me. That was too much for V. It was too much for me. It was too much for V. Just give me cards. Four cards as a separate message, please. So we can end this. Because I just, I can't. Like, god damn. I don't know who. Ooh. Ooh. My god. Ooh. Father God, give me a separate message for a group that is completely separate from <laughs> these individuals right here. Please. Just let me get let me get one meme card and four cards, please. Cause we gotta separate this, honey. I know that wasn't for everybody, but that was for somebody, honey. Good Lord Jesus. All right, one more off the top. Thank you, Lord. Help me. Mm. God, I feel like I want to wipe that table clean. Like I want to <laughs> wipe the table down. Oh my God, what is this? Oh. Sitting up in my room, imagine a thing about you. I'm just a mess, I'm a mess for you. Y'all know that dog sitting up in my room. I can't remember the words. I'm just a mess, a thing for you. Oh my goodness. Why is someone sitting over there with their head all big like that? Oh my gracious. I feel like someone. It's sitting up in a room by itself. Their head is swollen. I mean swollen with just like so many thoughts about a certain individual. I feel like someone with them glasses on, I want to say like they may be a, 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 a what I said, a silent shopper. Oh my God. <laughs> Silent shopper, but I want to say like this person may be hidden. Like you may not know this person is like I want to say like watching you a little bit. The death in the reverse. You got the death in the reverse again. This may be someone that you're trying to cut out, but they don't want to leave. They don't want this thing to end. What is this? Um, this is the ten of swords. Like they feel. Backstab, they feel like you just like 
this is someone that you just cut yourself out and they just like where the fuck did you go like how the hell I, I don't know if like this is someone that you've had several attempts of trying to cut this person out of your life or like dig these roots out of your garden like I feel like you need to till the land a little bit more I feel like the roots are a little bit deeper like you gotta really go down and dig those roots out because you like I keep snatching this goddamn flower or whatever this 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 is out of my yard and it keep growing back so it's like whatever it is it's like it don't matter how many times I turn this motherfucker I don't want to talk to you you know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't know like that's what I'm getting it's like Whatever this is, it keep coming back. It keep growing back. It just won't die. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just won't die. It's like, how many times do I have to tell you? How many times do I have to show you, like, this isn't good for us? You know what I'm saying? Like, we should stop talking to each other. We should stop engaging with each other. Interfering with people's lives. Like, you need to stop watching me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't, why do I feel like this is like a little man? He's a sharp little nigga though. Like, listen, this nigga dressed to impress, okay? Listen, got his glasses on, got his whole little shit, got big ass hair. I don't know if he got big ass bald head or something. I don't know if he bald, got big ass head on. <laughs> he just be sitting in the house looking fly as a motherfucker, ain't going nowhere. Oh. <laughs> oh! Nice two cards, y'all. This is too funny. Scorpio, no. Okay, what is this? The Five of Cups. So, like, again, this is someone that's in mourning. Like, <laughs> the Five of Cups to me is, like, there was too many people in this situation or you weren't giving enough of your love or your attention to me. You know, you might have been sitting too busy trying to be cool, daddy, or something. Because clearly, look, this is a third-party situation. Someone poured all of that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely feel like... There is someone that is being cut out. This one is saying he's sitting up in his room. He's stressing and he's thinking about you. He's just a mess. Well, hold on. What the hell are the words to, to Brandy sitting up in my room? I got to look this up now. Because now I got to see what the exact words are. Brandy sitting up in my room lyrics. It says, seems like ever since the first day we met, there was no one else I think of more than you. Can't seem to forget. Can't get you out my head. Because the verdict says I'm crazy over you. How can I be down? Tell me where to start. Because every time you smell, I feel tremors in my heart. I have one concern. How can I get with you until my day come? Here's what I'm going to do. Be sitting up in my room. Back here thinking about you. I must confess I'm a mess for you. Be sitting up in my room. Back here thinking about you. I'm a mess with the thing for you. Pray that you'll invest in my happiness. All it takes is just one simple call from you. Turn my heart around. If I'm making ground. Pretty, bla pretty baby please tell me if I'm getting through. I'm so serious. Y'all hear these lyrics? Y'all hear these lyrics? Do you hear the lyrics? Do you hear the lyrics? So I don't know if this is a continuation off of this shit. <laughs> or not. I don't know if you cut old big head out. Because you found the truth out. And again, this is the death end of a verse. Like, so, like, if this is a continuation off of this other reading... I want to say that both of you guys like really didn't want to walk away from each other, but she's just like, hold on, you 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 over there doing what? And with a nigga? Like you, you lost your motherfucker mind, or, or with two bras or something? Like this gotta be? It's ever a same sex couple? Do you understand? It's ever two females that was in a lesbian relationship, but you found out that your girlfriend was messing with a dude, or? It's a heterosexual situation and you found that the dude you was messing with was messing with another dude. Something like that. Whatever the fuck it was, it's some messy Scorpio crazy fucking shit. 
But I really feel like while this person was over there trying to play games and juggle with the third, the other one turned their back on them and was like, I need someone that's going to give me something of equal size. And if you look at this person, you see how her eyes is closed like that? It's like someone is frustrated with someone keep juggling them around. It's like they feel shut out. They feel in pain. It's like their heart hurts. They feel stabbed in the back. It's like this person... It's, it's showing me who they are. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're not. It's like they're emotionally showing me who they are by keep stabbing me in the back. And then they're emotionally showing me by shutting me out and making me feel like I'm not wanted. You know what I'm saying? So um, I feel like this is someone sitting back here thinking about that now. They could have necessarily made the person that they're on the phone watching this person feel like that. And they might be feeling some type of way now. Because now that they're being blocked, they don't want it to end. You know what I'm saying? And now their head is, is so full. I feel like their head feels like it's going to explode. Like they can't look at this anymore. Or, ooh, what is this? This is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So, you know, you guys could have been dealing with an Earth sign. Um, what is that? A Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn individual. This is someone that just moves very slow and really wasn't offering anything. Um, or just doesn't have anything to offer or doesn't have their own sense of security, uh, if that makes any sense. It's like they don't have anything of their own. And maybe that's why they did not pursue further. But I can't even say that because they were juggling. I mean, it was other people. It was someone in this situation. It was like overkill. Like this person did shit to this person like several times over too many. You know what I'm saying? Where it really wasn't no room for this person to hurt this individual anymore. They weren't offering nothing. Everything was moving so slow. It just wasn't going anywhere. So that's why this person is like, I feel like you poured me out. You was over there enjoying, look, you was over there parlaying with Slam or whatever the fuck. Like, I don't know what the fuck going on over here. And I really was not trying to uh, intertwine the, the, the two stories. But listen, listen, this is the magician. Like the Scorpio said, like, I'm the captain of my soul. I'm the master of my destiny. Like, I don't want to be anywhere where I don't, where I feel like I'm not wanted. Uh, it's like this person could be telling this guy right here. It's like, I know you don't want this to end, but I do. You know, I want the cup, the sword, the pinnacle, and the wand. I want it all. I want it all. <laughs> and I want it now. I don't have time to wait. Whatsoever whatsoever um and i don't have any room to be hurt anymore i don't feel the need to be in any state of lack or nothing like that so um i'm manifesting a new direction in my life and, and whatever i want i'm gonna get it um and i'm also going to read this in the aspect of the mind of this person uh the mind of this person like i said they sitting up in their room they back here thinking about you i'm a mess I got a thing for you. This person is, is trying to manifest a new beginning, a new life. They could very much be so aware of how they might have hurt you 10 times over. I feel like that's why their brain is about to pop sitting there thinking about that shit. You probably are receiving your justice right now because they put you in a place where you were feeling low. You could have been feeling lonely with this Five of Cups. I feel like you were mourning the loss of the relationship while you were in the fucking relationship. Because you were supposed to be queen, but you didn't feel like you were fucking queen. Because, like, this person, this person knew what they was doing. This person is in mourning. Because you walked away. And you thought about what's in front of you instead of behind you. This person is thinking about what's behind them instead of what's in front of them. 
because they're looking in the past and they look at all of that hurt that they caused you know and now this person's like well who the hell is this person giving her two cups to now you would never know because you weren't giving nothing to begin with you weren't investing your time you weren't investing your money you weren't trying to create space and opportunity for learning and growth and development in a situation so the person walked away ended it and decided to create a new life a new adventure for themselves and the lesson out of the whole situation is like for this woman is like don't ever try to measure yourself up to someone who ain't offering you something of equal size. Period. Pull yourself together, resurrect yourself, and go out there and get it again. What it said, the prettiest is always the father. The fathers. The six of diamonds when you cut somebody out and you ain't speaking to them no more. Like someone's been blocked. Someone knows that the grass is greener on the other side. Okay? And whoever this... Oh, this is the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Lord, this is the King of Pentacles in the reverse. This King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is an older, mature man that is well-seasoned beyond his years and should have learned by this time how to take care of himself and, you know, how to be a responsible individual or something like that. I feel like this person is... Um, what are they trying to tell me? They said a low skater, a loam skate. What the fuck does that mean? It's like you skating through light on the low. You know what I'm saying? It's like a low skater. Like this person just be sliding through. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even think this is this person's house. Like, this person could be renting a room or something or be sharing a room with someone or something like that. I don't know why I feel like I'm getting, like, homeless or, like, displacement or something. I don't know what I'm getting here. But this person doesn't know how to fix things or how to kind of get their life together because... I feel like this person got big head, nice clothes, cool glasses, no foundation. You know what I'm saying? Like, no structure, nothing. Um, hmm. It was careless of him to put another man's helmet on with the man in it, too. I, like, I don't know who this person is, but there's definitely karmic justice being like dished out to this person I don't know how close you are to this person at all but I just like I don't know cuz I just this 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 individual right here for making this person feel like this he feels bad for making her feel like this but he really gonna feel bad because the law the law of the world is gonna get you like you don't do shit like this to people This man made her feel love. He made her feel love. And I swear if it wasn't for her into it. Like she already dealt with enough. And I feel like that's what she, th she sits back and thinks about. But it was because of her spiritual intuition. Which was telling her like something ain't right or something. Because I swear I don't think that this woman know that this man is like on some other shit. You know? Anyway, I got to go. Like, yeah, I've, I've given y'all way too much. Like, I seriously did. That's why I need to start me a fucking Vimeo or something for these extended goddamn stories and shit. Anyway, I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>